All right, so the number one question we get from our customers is how does your solar light compare to the big box brand stores? Well, we're gonna do an unbiased review and let you choose. Come with me. Yeah. Can you show me where a light similar to this would be, like a floodlight? Aisle 10. 10 All right. 11. 10 and 11, I'm gonna head that way. Okay. Thank you. Here we go, here we go. All right, motion activated solar lights. Look at this. All right, so here we go. So if you wanna see prices, this guy, a little bulky kind of dude, uh, $44, big solar panel, $84 for the three head solar, and then looks like $54 for, uh, for that big guy. So how about we get, how about we get one of these? 40, maybe the $44 one. We'll try that guy out. This one's $54, so not too bad. That one's pretty bright, looks pretty big. 180 degrees, same as ours, all right. This one is uh, pretty close to ours, actually. It's a big competition of ours. So let's see. That's the Bionics uh, Spotlight. No batteries or wires. So pretty close to ours. All right, try that one too. What do you think compared to this guy? Check this thing out. Watch that. It's kind of cool. It's cool, isn't it? That bright? Yeah, it's pretty bright too. $129 for all three, okay. What do you think? Do you think, do you think this will win? Or do you think these will outwin it? They're all solar. I think if any of them's got a chance at this one. You think this one has a chance? You think this is gonna win? Yeah. All right. So just so you guys know, we paid $129 for all three of these. So that was the total. One was, let's see, one was 20 bucks, one was $45, and the other one was 55 bucks. So let's do a quick unboxing right here. And then of course we already unboxed ours, so our life's right there. So let's do this one real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty big. All right, so that is the light. That's this guy. All right. This one out. Now, I will say the one thing with these two is there definitely is wiring you have to do. That's the one thing I do notice. So you definitely put the solar panel one place and then you put the light somewhere else. All right, and last but not least, we got the Bionic. All right. Okay, solar panel, light. It looks like you can do a stick or something in the yard, kind of cool. We got size comparison to these guys. Pretty, pretty comparable. All right, so another, one thing I like to do is, one, I like to look at the light, of course, but then is the settings. So this one, this setting, is you can do a, a test, and it looks like a one minute and a three minute. All right. And then on this guy, this guy, oh, this guy, this guy has an on and off. And then it has a one minute and a three minute. So same thing there. Okay. And this one, this one just has an on button. So, oop, there we go. All right. That one's on. So give me an idea. Here's that guy. Ooh. So if then we turn this one on. There you go. That gives you that guy. And I think this one has to, oh, that one's already on. Okay, cool. All right, so the second question we always get is, what's the battery life? What's the battery look like? So these all have batteries that they're being charged by the solar panel inside or on the light themselves. So this is actually our battery that gets charged. So I want to compare it to the other sides of the batteries, okay? So this one, if you remember, this one has uh, two actually 1850s, which is actually the equivalent of one of these. As you can see, these equal pretty much one of those. Might be a little bit bigger, actually, uh, than just one, but I would say about, more about one and a half of two of those, okay? And then you can see, open this guy. He has one, and I would say that is the exact same battery right there, pretty comparable. And then we got this little guy, which is pretty funny. He's, I thought the battery was gonna be in here. It's actually hollow in there. <laughs> but, uh, but the battery's actually hidden on this side right here, and I would say also pretty comparable. So I would say all the lights comparable are about the same on the battery size, if you will, okay? 
So now uh, I kind of want to open up these screens inside. I want to see what LEDs uh, look like. Because if, if you see, if you look at this one, see if I can turn him off. We got 120 LEDs on this bad boy. So I want to see how many LEDs are in each one of these guys. All right, so we're going to start unscrewing this and then we'll figure out how many are in there and count them up. So we know this guy, this guy has 120 LEDs, pretty easy to see, 120 across the board. So those are pretty much shown throughout at clear vision. And then what I did was these are actually fogged. And so I unscrewed these to see exactly how many LEDs are in there. So it looks like we got four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 40. <laughs> and then we got these guys. Check this out. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So that's 15. Another 15 here. So that's 30. And then right here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight. And then of course ours. 120. <laughs> so as you can compare, you know, 120 squeeze in there real nice and tight. Obviously makes it much brighter than 30. And then what I say we had here, four times 10, that's 40, 30, and eight. So versus uh, 120. All right, boom. So now we are ready to take these, put these all back together. We're going to take them outside, get them all charged up, and then see how they look at night. All right, let's do that. That's an awful place to put a sticker. Why would they put a sticker on the solar panel? I don't know what that sticker said, but holy smokes. Okay, we got all of our panels ready to go. We're getting sun. We're all set. Now we're going to give them a full day of sunlight. Then we're going to come back at night and then show you each one as they light up. Let's do that next. All right, now it has been a full day of charging. We've let the lights charge all day so they have a full battery ready to go. So we're about to turn them on and see how they look so we can compare the brightness between all four of the different lights. So let's do that now. So over here, uh, just so you guys can see at night, it's kind of hard. We have the uh, Bell and How, I believe that's the Bionic uh, light right there. Then we have the one, I, I forgot what the name of it was, but this one was the $54 light. Uh, and then we have ours, this is the .com products, solar light floodlight, or solar bright floodlight. And then we have this fourth one, which is the $45 uh, floodlight as well, solar panel. So a couple things just real quick. Um, this one just has an on and off setting, so you can pretty much just do on and off on it. Uh, I don't believe, I don't believe this one is, it might be, I don't know. This one for sure, it has a one minute and a three minute timer, so basically it just comes on for one minute, then goes back off. Comes on for three minutes, goes back off. Uh, this is the .com products light which is pretty cool. It has three settings, which is nice. The first setting allows it to glow, and then when it sees motion, it lights bright. The other one is a just a dim light all night, and then the other one I wanna show you here is fully dark, and then when you see when someone comes up to it, it automatically uh, comes on, okay, by motion. And then the third one here, again, this one is just a one minute and a three minute, so it comes on for one minute, goes back off, comes on for three minutes, goes back off. So uh, just kind of real quick, as I said, this is an unbiased review, so it's kind of up to you to pick which light you want to go with. Uh, you know, our, our number one question that we got on our surveys was, how does your light compare to the other big brick and mortar uh, retail stores? And well, I'm telling you, I'm showing you right now, as you saw, we went to the brick and mortar stores, we grabbed the lights, we paid the price, and we came out here to compare them for you. So you can make a wise decision, you can make an educated decision. So just kind of want to show again, is this is the dot-com product light. And as you can see, I think it's quite impressive as it is one third the size of this one. It's about half the size of this guy down here. And it still has the same amount of light, if not more, along with the same battery as we showed you earlier. It, it lasts the same time. And I tell you what, it's freaking mighty. It's freaking awesome. Uh, I, I really enjoy making this video for you. This was our number one question that we got from customers is how does it compare to you know the Lowe's, the Menards, the Home Depot lights? Well, as you can see, it compares pretty freaking well. So. Hey, hope you go with us. Hope you choose to do business with us. We really appreciate it. We're based out of St. Louis, Missouri, and we look forward to getting some of these lights out to you. Thank you.